Welcome back. Let's now meet a Chinese American woman who has found success not only in the technology industry as an entrepreneur, but as a global business consultant and even as a fashion jewelry designer. Rose Liang joins our Melody Tao to share her secrets of success in the global business world. Hi everyone, it's Melody Tao with Asian Voices. Today, get ready to feel motivated. I have a global businesswoman here with me today, and she's gonna to talk to us about her business that bridges the gap between the US and China. She's currently sitting on a $540 million green energy project, and she's also doing so much more. Her name is Roz, and I'm so happy to introduce her to Asian Voices. Hi Roz, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. So global business consultant, that is a pretty big title. Tell us how, how you got into that career. Well, long story, but not so long anyway. So I graduated with my MBA degree and then I started my uh, first business as IT consulting business. In the oh, East wow. Coast. IT. Yes. Okay. <laughs> how did that transition to being a business consultant? Well, uh, for that seven years in Jersey, we actually provide IT consulting to the financial insurance and our uh, are the stock exchange as well. So after I, the business sold to Deutsche Bank, that's our, I had an opportunity, I feel, see myself as the bridges for a corporation here in America and in China. So that got me into more into global business. So your passion is really in bridging the gap between different countries, more specifically China. Tell us about that and how you got into the China market. Yeah. I see myself with my resources and networks in both country. I be able to help corporations that not only for their cultural gap, cultural difference, as well as we have our experience and our uh, years of networks and resources here in America, we'll be able to help them to open their market as well as for products here in America to enter the market in China. That's how it was originally started. So it works both ways. You help companies from China come here and from here go to China. Is that Absolutely. correct? That's correct. That's awesome. So yeah. one of the cool things I know is that you have a very successful story to tell about the strategies you've used for one of your own companies, and that is your jewelry company, Roslyn Jewelry. <laughs> and I happen to have a piece of your jewelry on now. Tell us about that and how you've used your skills as a business person to grow your own jewelry business. Well, as a matter of fact, I think girls all like jewelry. Yes, we, we do. We like fashion and like all said, that. Even this ring is beautiful. All right. So our, I saw the opportunity that I'd be able to uh, do something that I like. So I was so fortunate to work with uh, large corporations such as TV Shopping Network, QVC. Yes, I know you've been featured on yes. some of those large networks. Yes, Home Shopping Network. And I think the peak of, for Rasen Jewelry was in 2012 when we signed the contract as the very first licensee for Sands Corporation as we designed a line of jewelry for Marina Bay Sands in Singapore. That was a phenomenal result. So just so our, our viewers are clear, this jewelry company is actually part, almost like a client of your global business consulting company. Company. Yes, it is. Is that correct? Yes. It's just a success story. Yes, we actually be able to show to our clients that we can launch a brand, we'll be able to uh, develop a brand, we'll be able to, to do branding for our customer. So one of the things that I know you're very passionate about as well is also being a female entrepreneur, yes. um, more specifically an Asian female entrepreneur. And I know you have a few initiatives that are surrounding that as well. Tell us more about your global initiatives for female yes. entrepreneurs. Yes, I think I have been in business for 20 years and a woman Women business and women leadership, these are the things that I'm so passionate about. I have been involved in women leadership exchange for over eight years now. So my goal is to voice it out uh, for female uh, entrepreneurs and for women business. And so I would love to one day very soon that I'd be able to open up the door for women entrepreneurs in China and bring them here and also to connect with women business owners here in America. I think that would be my, my dream come true one day. So. Wow. Well, <laughs> I love your story because not only do you have this global business consulting firm, you have your own company within it that's a success story and you're helping other people take the initiative to become entrepreneurs. Thank you so much for joining us, Roz. It's been a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. And I'd like to thank uh, Asian Voices uh, to having me today. If you'd like more information on how you can work with Roz, you can check out her website or connect with her on LinkedIn. This is Melody Tao with Asian Voices. Thank you so much for joining us. Signing off, we will see you next time. Thank you.